LTE slow signals more widely spaced, which doesn't sound like a big deal until you're driving. With WiMAX on the highway, you hit 75 miles an hour, you lose your internet. Where LTE was fine up to 200 miles an hour. Both of them are based on OFDM, which is this radio technology where you send lots of very slow, skinny signals in a row. You add them all up to get high speed. Both LTE and WiMAX are based on that. WiMAX was meant to be the first 4G technology capable of wirelessly sending 25 megabits to devices from cell phone towers. And for a while, it was the hot new thing. LTE wasn't finished. In a lot of ways, WiMAX was better. It was faster. It could send and receive on a single channel where LTE needed two different channels. Sprint poured a lot of money into it. They built clear WiMAX networks around the world. I had this clear 4G USB dongle, but by 2010, everyone realized LTE was going to win. AT&T, Verizon, Deutsche Telekom, T-Mobile, Vodafone, all threw themselves behind LTE. And after that, the writing was kind of on the wall. One of the differences is that WiMAX tends to use these wider signals and they were running it all up at 2.5 gigahertz, right above the Wi-Fi. Or the LTE, it could run on lower bands. It could run down at 1900 megahertz at 850 megahertz. So it went further. And for the carriers, this is so important. They've got their towers where they've got their towers and they want to slap radios on there and cover the whole area. They could just put up the LTE radios, mm. which were like nicely compatible with the 3G, by the way. And they'd know that they had sort of the same area covered. But with MyMax, you've got higher speeds, but shorter range. And this is a problem for them. They don't want to put up whole new towers. Mm, you know, they don't they, want big gaps in coverage. Another issue with the 2.5 gigahertz, it didn't get into buildings as well. I know there's a, a large company here in Philadelphia who doubled down on the WiMAX and discovered it didn't make it into their headquarters. They did all this physics modeling and they worked with Clear and they just discovered that their silver coated windows were reflecting the signal better than anyone expected. So what they ended up doing is putting a WiMAX base station inside the elevator shaft of their building. So it shot up and down and into every floor. That stuff just doesn't happen with LTE. So did WiMAX kill Sprint? So Sprint put a lot of money into Clear. And then in around 2011, they put another one point six billion dollars and then at the end as clear failed and they tried to write it off the judge actually ruled that all those debts were now sprints so sprint ended out saddled with a lot of debt and a lot of wasted effort and they ended out shutting down the whole WiMAX network in 2015 so it's now been 10 years since the end of this adventure subscribe for more technology